And this afternoon, we are following a developing story. A four-year-old girl missing. Police say her mother abducted her child during a court-supervised visit yesterday. Well, now authorities think she is trying to flee the country with this little girl. Elise Haas joins us live with the latest. Elise, what did you find out? Well, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered in this story, Trevor, but right now police are looking for the mother who abducted her four-year-old girl, and they're worried she's trying to leave the U.S. I think our main concern is the allegation that she may go to Mexico, and that would obviously be a huge safety concern for a young child. Four-year-old Aranza Ochoa Lopez has been in foster care since being removed from her home last year. And during a supervised visit at the Vancouver Mall Thursday morning around 10 o'clock, police say her mother, Esmeralda Lopez, told the CPS worker she was taking Aranza to the restroom. Instead, she took off with her. But it wasn't until four hours later that CPS officials notified law enforcement. There was quite a long delay from the time that the child was last seen with her until um, we were notified that this was even occurring. Coincidentally, when police got the call about the missing child around 2 in the afternoon Thursday, officers were already at Miss Lopez's apartment, serving a search warrant for a completely separate kidnapping and robbery at her place the night before. Police say Lopez and three other men detained someone at her apartment and stole his car. So there's sort of multiple pieces to this because it was sort of an evolving uh, puzzle that a few pieces started to fit together and, and were connected. And Vancouver police believe Miss Lopez has the intent of fleeing the country. So definitely that really precipitated us putting out information related to uh, hopefully locating her vehicle or her and the child uh, before that would occur. But no Amber Alert was ever put out. Police say, unfortunately, it didn't meet the specific criteria. One, CBS didn't notify authorities soon enough that Aranza was missing. And two, Lopez has access to a couple of different cars. But now they're asking for everyone to look at these photos and keep an eye out for Aranza. And I reached out to CPS about this case, and as of this newscast, I haven't heard back yet. But I'll continue to follow this, and we'll let you know as soon as we learn more. But for now, reporting live in Vancouver, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.